So you want to master the power of words. Not a problem. You probably already know how to use basic text controls like font size, justification, and position, but text has another cool variable called tracking, which allows you to change the horizontal or the vertical size without actually changing the font size. And we can keyframe this attribute if we open up the text variables, click on the animation arrow, and under tracking, now we can keyframe it just like everything else. And you can also add lots of other cool effects with the animate option, which are specifically designed for text. For example, if we pick blur and open the range, we can now blur our words horizontally, vertically, we can decide where it starts, where it ends, and we can even control an offset. And if you want even more effects, then Adobe comes with like hundreds that you can look through over here, and if you drag them to your text, it will automatically give you all the keyframes and controls necessary in order to manipulate the effect. Bam, you're done. How easy was that? And the last thing that you should know is there's also a lot of 3D text options as well. We used the cylinder effect in the previous video, but there's a bunch more here that you can look at. And if you come from a 3D background like I do, then you'll recognize the gizmo that you can use to manipulate the 3D text the exact same way we would in Blender or Unreal. So definitely check these effects out here too, because there's a lot of really cool looking ones that will definitely save you a lot of time. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. Oh, 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 oh,